hello and welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll tell you how to remove black backgrounds in iMovie for muzzle flashes and get the muzzle flashes to line up perfectly with the barrel of the gun. Some people have been having trouble with this, completely understandable, but I'm going to tell you how to be very precise with your editing. So first off, we need some footage. Some of you might not have a camera or things like that, but there's no problem there. I have some available for you to download. Go to Google and type in the URL photobucket.com slash second loser. Keep in mind that the O's are zeros. Once you go to that page, you should have something like this. This is a folder I created for you guys. This has some great movie assets, including green screens, blue screens, black backgrounds, white backgrounds, tracer rounds, some basic quickly made muzzle flashes, some sniper scopes, binoculars, customizable images like that, a bunch of assets you guys could use for practice. These all have clear backgrounds in iMovie. So you could use one of these for now, but let's get back on topic. You need some footage. Well, I have one for you here. This is a small file size, it's not very good quality or anything like that. It's just holding a gun, it's got a barrel for you, it's got shell casing ejections, things ready for that. All you need is you go File and Download. It should pop up in your Downloads folder. And from your Downloads folder, you can put it into iMovie. Now you have a gun in your event library with uh, usable footage. So let's get started. Put that into your project. Next, we need to import a muzzle flash. This one I guarantee you has a black background, but let's say you downloaded a video file that claims to have a clear background, but a black background keeps showing up. Well, make sure you go File, Import, go to where the file is, on your computer. This one is from Action Essentials 2. I really like the quality of these. They even include smoke assets. But if your Action Essentials 2 has a black background, the problem most likely is is the optimized video box is checked. You want to uncheck it. Now it's imported. It needs to generate some thumbnails and it should be good. To make sure we're able to incorporate multiple pictures you need to go into iMovie, click preferences, click on the general tab and make sure the show advanced tools box is checked. Now we have imported this but to doubly make sure that it is correctly saved in iMovie just right click click on reveal in finder. If your video footage is appearing inside an iMovie folder as you can see here, it's in an iMovie event. That means you can delete the original footage and empty the trash can, and your footage will still be in iMovie because the data is coming from the iMovie event folder. If you revealed in Finder and the movie is from somewhere else on your computer and not in an iMovie folder, if you delete your footage, iMovie will lose it. So now let's get that muzzle flash in. Select it, drag and drop it, go to a spot where you want the muzzle flash to appear. There's some recoil right there. And click on picture in picture. Now you see it has a clear background. That's because the optimized box was not checked. But as you can see, as I try, the muzzle flash cannot line up with the barrel. So we have to click on the little gear, go to cropping and rotation, and change the side of it. Now we can get a little more accurate. If you're having trouble being very precise in your editing, this little bar here, you can scroll it to the side and you'll see more frames per second. That way you can very precisely get your footage to where you want. Now if I just press play, iMovie will just kind of pause and freeze. 
not really play the video. That is perfectly okay. iMovie is not a very powerful editing program. It will do what it can, but the thing you have to remember is how your video will look in the end. So that's using the Action Essentials too, and properly importing it. But now let's get back to the black background. This one does not have a clear background. What we'll do is put it right where we want it again using picture in picture. Get as good as we can. Again, we can click on the little gear. If you're having trouble seeing the gear, make sure you use this little bar to see more frames per second. Click on crop, get it to where you want, as close as you can. Try and line it up as best as you can with the barrel. I actually put my finger on the computer screen and my mouse arrow to where I want my finger to line up, and that helps me get even closer. And there we have it. That muzzle flash is kind of lined up with our picture. Okay, so now we need a green background. Once again, go back to the internet. Go back to that photo bucket page I was telling you about. View the album. And select one of these green backgrounds. These are very high quality pictures. I, I guarantee you this is the most high quality green box you will ever see. Just drag it into your folder. And there we go. Nice high quality green. What we're going to do with that green JPEG is drag it into our timeline. Double click on it and make sure that Ken Burns effect is, oops sorry, not double click, get rid of the, click on the gear, so make sure that Ken Burns effect is not there, so click fit. Now we have that green box, drag our muzzle flash and put it over the green. Next take the footage, double click on it, go to video effect, click roster, click done. Should be pretty good. Now we need to make sure the green background is also similar. Now you just can't go into video effect and change it to roster, that probably won't do anything. What you need to do is go to video and change all these colors around until you get it as close as you can to the green. If you're a little colorblind, I'm sorry. Not much I can do for you there, but just ask someone for help. And there we go. We have the green kind of lined up pretty good. Click done. Hopefully that works. Next you go share, export movie. Make sure you have it on HD so you don't lose quality in between transfers. Alright, now it's done. We go to our exported video and put that into our event library. That's to generate its thumbnails and things like that. And the part we're interested in is the end part. So as soon as you see the muzzle flash, just highlight and scroll. Next, line it up as close as you can to that frame you used before. But this time click green screen instead of picture in picture. This thing will pop up saying you've modified your project. That's completely acceptable. It, it's kind of obvious. Delete your excess footage. And we have a muzzle flash. But there's some issues with this. As you can see, it has all these black lines and rubble and all that other junk. Well, the way to get rid of this is double click on it, go to video. And you have seven different ways to remove the blackness. Maybe adding, uh, maybe getting rid of some contrast or 
the brightness adding more green tends to help most but the trick is to get rid of the black lines you can also use this to kinda customize your muzzle flash maybe you want it a little brighter than normal maybe you kinda want a different color more fiery just use these get the muzzle flash to your desired appearance then you click on done that's good enough for tutorial purposes but as you can see it's still just not quite lined up with my barrel well no problem we're gonna click on the gear once again and click on cropping you're gonna keep doing this process until you get the muzzle flash just right change the center point change the size of the muzzle flash oops went the wrong way you get the idea and that should be pretty good there however let's add one more effect of realism every frame this one you're gonna have to definitely put your slider to every half second every frame that shows the muzzle flash you're gonna hit command X to crop that chunk out right click paste it right in between the gap click on the green footage slide it over using the arrow keys or your mouse but get it lined up once again now what we're gonna do with this tiny point one second interval is double click on it go to video and change the brightness and things like that so the room is kinda lighting up as well you can also add other colors and things like that so each muzzle flash will get this tiny little bright speck as you can see the room now when the muzzle goes off brightens up adds a bit more realism but it could be worth it at the end the unfortunate thing is you have to do this for every muzzle flash in the movie it's gonna take a lot of work and a lot of patience but it's totally worth it in the end the program I actually prefer to use is Final Cut Pro or Final Cut Express but that's just my preference others prefer After Effects I plan on doing a couple Final Cut tutorials but they will be on my second channel alright so that should be it for this tutorial if you found this tutorial helpful be sure to click like so others know that this is a good tutorial be sure to add to favorites so you can quickly reference this tutorial while making your video I highly recommend you subscribe to stay updated on important info and more. If you have a question, leave a comment below and I or someone else will answer it when able. If you have a suggestion or a request, post it as a comment too. Lastly, I would like to inform you that I am starting up a second channel. On that channel, I will upload videos that follow the rules of the YouTube Partnership Program. So basically, completely original content. I will re-upload new versions of past tutorials incorporating new tips and tricks and frequently asked questions. Subscribe early, the content will begin this winter. You see here, Lightning Doom, he has the right idea. But you may ask, why the second channel? Well I want a professional channel for you guys. Be sure to subscribe to both. Thank you and good luck making your movies.